everyone who was marching yesterday was not marching for themselves. They weren't marching for, I want this, I'm entitled to this. They were marching for the kids that died because their parents were selfish and decided that what I want and my responsibility is more important than we'll this. Pray for you. It's okay, we'll pray for you. Thank you, I'll pray for you. Yep, that's my YouTube channel. Really? Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. If you want to. Uh, I just broke like 2,500 yesterday. Hey, way to so, go. Thank you. Okay, have fun with the lowest black unemployment in history. I hope you don't live in Britain where there's 1.2 million of you on medical waiting lists. Are you saying of you? Huh? Are you saying of you? When you say that, do you mean people? Or are you people? because she's a person of color? I said, I hope you don't live in Britain because then you might be one of the 1.2 million that are on medical wait lists. Yeah, I after, after I established, no, 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 after I established the context of she lives in Britain. I'm not a racist, but good try. So we had to go put more clothes on, uh, cause I was starting to freeze to death a little bit. So I still got my pussy hat on, so I'm blending in a little bit. But uh, it's mainly evaporated. But one thing that we did notice is that there's so much trash left behind. Like all of their signs and everything, just get shots of that. There's all the way down there. They left all of their signs that they worked so hard on to make their point. And all the way down there, too. There are just signs everywhere just left behind. Someone is going to have to clean that up. Someone is going to have to come out here and clean up their mess. Yesterday, we were at the uh, Right to Life March, which had easily 10 times the attendance, even to this late in the day. There was no trash left behind. Absolutely none. Because not only do those people respect uh, the rights of the infant that's in the womb, but also they respect other people. They respect the people that are going to have to come out and clean this up. So they're still outside here at the White House screaming that Trump, Trump is a dick and uh, whatnot. But other than that, it's mainly disbanded because no one really wants to be out here in the cold fighting fascism, right? Uh, because typically you only fight fascism in the cold if you're in Stalingrad and you're facing actual fascism. But uh, other than that, no one's probably going to want to talk to us anymore. I think we had some pretty good conversations earlier. Uh, probably got a pretty good sample size of the actual intellectual capacity of what we're dealing with out here at the Women's March. We did just speak with a guy, his name was Andrew, and he asked me not to post the video of him because he does work for the government. Um, but what he told us is basically, one, that Trump is of course going to get re-elected in 2020, not a doubt in his mind, so Andrew call it first. Um, secondly, he deployed over in the Middle East and he actually saw the treatment of women in the Middle East and so he's essentially just laughing at this Women's March because uh, according to him they wouldn't have even been allowed to have something like that where he was deployed in the Middle East. He was actually with a friend of his from Taiwan and he was giving her the rundown on you know Washington DC and uh, she too was amused by the events that were going on at the Women's March but one thing that I do want to point out is that it's completely disbanded now so they it's almost like a version of live action role play that's gotten in too deep because in countries where people are actually oppressed, countries where people are actually having their rights taken away from them, there is no time off. There is no make your colorful signs, go to the place you want to protest, take pictures so you can look virtuous on social media and then leave your signs behind. There's none of that. These people are actually fighting for their lives 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. There is no go to the women's march and leave and then go to a bar and have fun with your friends. It's like they're walking there and they're so excited and they get there and then they just get so angry. It's like the two minutes hate from 1984. They just get so angry screaming at Trump, screaming at me for supporting Trump and all the other conservatives that I met there and then they just snap out of it. They're so cognitively dissonant and I, I'm going to have a video about that later. Um, that goes in deeper with that, but they don't actually believe anything that they're doing. It's just a big game to them. I mean, they show up, they get in their character, they're really anti-Trump, and I really realized this over the summer. I'm gonna post the tweet. This is the worst tweet that I've ever seen in my life. I was at dinner in Ireland, and I saw this tweet about women's rights, and the woman was replying, it was this older woman, maybe 50 or 60, uh, to this younger woman who was talking about the issue of women's rights, and she said that th uh, something along the lines of, those of us with silver in our hair have been fighting this battle for our entire lives, and I wanted to put a bullet in my head. The way she phrased it, silver in our hair, she was so poetic about it, so descriptive, really, just all this figurative language, as if she's some freedom fighter. I could just imagine this woman comes home from her nine to five, sits down at her computer and gets on Twitter, and then all of a sudden assumes the role of some freedom fighter of some vindicator of those who do not who do not have a voice it's just total it's BS it's all BS and they know it is it's just a big game to these people so uh, that's about my feeling on the women's march so thank you for watching Donald Trump. I support Donald Trump because he's actually making moves in his position. Attaway. He has taken action.
patient. He is building the wall. He is bettering the human population by taking people out of the United States that shouldn't be here because they're here illegally. How old are you? I am 14 and I am proud to be a Republican. You're the smartest 14 year old I think I've ever met. Yeah! He's my little brother. This is why we got the Sacrifice for the babies. Keep fighting. God bless you. God bless the March for Life. Keep fighting. Dissecting my mind is, is we are still this supposed to be. Nico, Nico, you get behind the side. You're grabbing people. Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. Behind the banner, people are. Where's your daddy and your mommy? Right? Do you want to go back? Do you want to go back to them, or do you want to stay with Donald Trump? Jump.